Hi everyone, this is Matt. Welcome back to Touchgrass Gardening. Today we're going to be talking about how to regrow a tree from a stump. So say for example your tree died, you cut it and you have a big stump in your yard, but you start to see things growing from the stump. And you ask yourself, can I regrow this stuff into a tree, specifically the tree that just died? And I'm here to tell you that you can, which is what I've done with this Brazilian pepper tree. So you can see here, there's a big stump. This was quite a big tree. I didn't actually see this tree because it was already cut into a stump when we moved into the house. And when we moved in, it was just a tiny little bush like this. And I saw all this growth and I said to myself, well, I'm just gonna let it grow up and make it into kind of like a big bush because it's such a beautiful green and it stays evergreen throughout the year. So, like I said in my last video, a lot of stuff doesn't look that good after a freeze. But this Brazilian pepper tree looks awesome after a freeze. It has all this color, has these red berries. I really like this tree and it does wonderfully in our climate. So I thought to myself, either I'm gonna have to pay someone a bunch of money to remove this stump, dig up all the roots, or I could potentially try to regrow the tree from what I already have here because there's a huge root system under here already. And clearly there's something alive because it's starting to grow up. And what I did is I just let it grow into this big bush. I thought I would just like keep cutting it so it's a big round bush every year. But what I found is I couldn't do that because there were such big trunks inside. And so there were, you know, multiple big thick trunks like as thick as my wrist. And so every time I trimmed it, I'd have to just get my saw out and cut through these big trunks and I thought this isn't working because it wants to be a tree. And so what I decided to do is to look for the biggest trunk that was in there and cut every other trunk other than the biggest one and then just let it go into a tree. And after two years, this is the result. It's now a huge, beautiful tree that I can't even get my hand around. So it's grown into a tree that is healthy and doing well in the same way that I imagine these stumps once were. Um, and when I talked to the guy that used to live here about this stump, he said that there was one summer where their irrigation broke and he just wasn't paying attention and it died because it gets so hot here in the summer and it hadn't get, been getting any water. So. He had to cut it down, tree died, but then he saw that, you know, it was growing up a little bit too, but he, he, he was moving out, didn't want to do anything with the stump and wanted to leave it for the next person moving in. So that's when I decided that something could be done with it. And I think the big lesson for me here is that you're gonna see, particularly with more vigorous trees, like this Brazilian pepper tree, you're gonna see both things coming out of the stump itself and things coming out of the ground in different directions. So it used to be that there were just things growing everywhere here. And what I decided is that I wanted to pick an area that was pretty far away from the original stumps. And you can see in here that, uh, you know, this is not close to the original stumps. So as this grows, it has room to get bigger. Whereas if it's right next to the original stumps, it's gonna be pushed into some strange angle, into some strange direction that you don't want. And a lot of people who regrow from stumps, they kind of get stuck into that, that position where the tree is growing in a strange angle. And then as the tree gets bigger, it either falls over again or doesn't do well because it's obviously not intended to grow from a stump. But what I did is I looked for a spot that was pretty far away from the tree that I could let it grow into that big tree again. And then I also decided to make it into a, a single trunk tree. Whereas this Brazilian pepper tree, it often likes to be a multi-trunk tree. And you can see here that it used to be. It used to be, you know, three big trunks going in three different directions, right, left, and then straight up. So it was a big tree. But now I'm just making it into a single trunk that's actually pretty far from the tree. And so that it has a bit more of its own space. It doesn't have to deal with 
the rest of the trunks that are in there. Because there's a lot going on in the ground right now. I just want one trunk to focus on for all the energy. Because again, there's a big root system that I can tell is in there. I don't want to waste that. And so I'm just putting one big trunk there and letting it grow. And like I said, often from trunks, the angle sometimes gets a little bit weird because it's not the original way the tree was planted. So I've also staked this slightly because it had been growing forward a bit and now I'm trying to pull it back a little bit more. And this has helped the angle quite a bit over the last year. I had this staked for about a year. It used to lean forward. Now as it's growing, it's somewhat trained to lean back a little bit and now it's, it's almost straight. So I'm pretty happy with how this tree has turned out in terms of it first starting as just this small little bushy stuff, then becoming a bunch of multi-trunks, and then just picking the biggest trunk and cutting everything else. And again, I'll clean all this up in the spring. This is lantana that I have all around in this area. So it's, it looks really lush in the summer. And then in the winter, I let a lot of this other stuff grow up a bit because it stays green. So it's, it's nice. There's both lantana that dies with a freeze. And then there's this Brazilian pepper that looks green after the freeze. So it's a nice contrast with these two planted here. And pretty soon I'm going to have a big tree. So it's already 15, 20 feet tall and it's doing wonderfully. I don't water it other than when it gets over 100 degrees. I'll water it with the hose you know, once a week. But this part of the yard, the irrigation system is still broken. Um, and I would have to go under rock, I would have to go under everything. So I'm utilizing that big root system and I'm building a new tree from a stump. So I'm here to tell you, you can do it. And it's worth a try because otherwise you're gonna be spending a lot of money to remove the stump and buy a new tree. So try this first and see if it works. Good luck. So again, this is the Brazilian pepper tree, obviously from Brazil, but it's cold hardy to zone eight. And as I said, there's no damage after our hard freeze of 25 degrees Fahrenheit. And so it's supposed to be in the range of zone eight to 11. We're in zone nine B and I never see it not green. And for your front yard, this is a perfect, what I would consider HOA friendly tree where it doesn't make a mess and it stays green all year. It's quite vigorous. So in some parts of the country, some parts of the world, specifically the tropics, it's known as an invasive species. So you don't want to plant it until you check what the rules and regulations are in your area and what people say about it in your area. But here in Phoenix, Arizona, I think it's a wonderful tree. And so if you're in a deserty, dry type of climate, I think you should plant it. Uh, I really love this tree. If you haven't heard of it, you don't see a lot of it around here, um, but it's just a wonderful tree and it's a fast grower. So you can see how vigorous it comes up from just a stump. And uh, now there's this beautiful tree. So if you like this video, please like it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We just hit over 100 subscribers. So I want to continue that trend and continue to make videos for you. So if you have something you wanna see, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you.